markers all over it. That's so cool. Neato. Woo, alrighty. So we made it to Moab, Utah. We're right down the street from Arches National Park, like two miles. We actually pulled in there to see if we could just get in and the park is filled. So they're not letting anybody in. They said come back two or three, three to five hours. So we might go check it out after three o'clock. It is just now noon and we're checked into our room. Um, we're just gonna go try to find a bite to eat. Just kind of like look around this area. It seems to be like a lot of things to see and do around here. So we'll waste some time doing all that and then maybe we'll try to check back into the park about three o'clock. Um, this was on their website. They said you try to get into the park by like eight o'clock and you probably get in or um, if you don't, then you have to wait till after three. So hopefully we'll have luck and get in after three. We're hoping, but uh, it's definitely pretty here. Look at the view that we have from our room and it pretty much just says, no, we can't climb on all that stuff, but not that I would anyway, but this is our view from our room in Moab. All right, so we are headed into Moab Brewery, microbrewery for lunch and dinner. This is the place right here. We like parked out on the street because, oh, oh there's the brewery too right there. That's cool. Awesome. This place must be killing it because, uh. Oh, I love the sign. Crazy heavy. So they have like a really good menu too. Lots of appetizers and shareables, which things look really, really good. I actually wanted to try, where would where do they go? See, they have the bang bang shrimp. But look I'm at their, the tacos. I know you're getting the tacos, but look at their, the prices of just their appetizers and shareables. Like $14.99 for their, wow. Um, and then they have like salads and greens. They have big entrees and they said that the, Street style fish tacos are gluten free, so I can get those, which is great. And then just have like gluten free buns as well for like burgers, which is good. <clears throat> yeah, let's save ourselves for a, oh, a nice, nice dinner. <laughs> but yeah, this place is actually pretty cool. Cool little place. They got kayaks and stuff everywhere. Very cool. You also got a lot of like weird looking things on yours too. Like, yeah, it looks delicious though, but yeah. Um, and these are my tacos fish tacos and Brian got shrimp tacos but that looks bang bang shrimp that's what those are yeah those look good though and these are mine Alrighty, so we just finished lunch and we're over here at what they call Lions Park and we just went to the bathroom but um, it's got like little trails right here and look at this yeah I don't think we do I think we go right there Yeah. I don't know. We're the book here. Okay. Kind of a blind corner. Yeah. Well, they should be going slow anyway, so. Hey, watch out for bicycles on the food. Yeah, I must. I'm going to take a picture of this. Lions Park. We're going to do a little hike in here. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. <laughs> off <-roading. laughs> Yeah, right. Off-roading. Well, you can walk to the park. Oh, jeez. Or you can get in the tree and step. Oh. oh, that's cool. Look at that. Honey, we gotta go this way. Arches National Park, Moab. <laughs> Look at this up here. <laughs> Look at that. A little muddy water. Oh, it goes way out there. No. Oh wow. Yeah, very cool. Look at 
Look how they have rocks up in those things. <laughs> they built the rocks right inside of the structure. <laughs> touch, touch, touch. Yeah. Touch it, babe. Touch it. He did it. The old school sticker bushes. The ones that oh like yeah, today. yeah. Gosh, I haven't seen those. In hated those things. Oh, I know. Pulling them off the dog and stuff. Yeah. Wow. So we just walked across that bridge, and now we're over here on the other side of the water. And you guys, like, look straight up, straight up. What are you doing? Oh wow! Yeah, sticker sticker bugger. Look at that. Holy cow! I don't know if that's a sticker bugger. That looks like a flower. Here, I want you to grab it. Nope, I'm not grabbing it. <laughs> Look straight up. Like wow. That is crazy. Lots of bikers, lots of hikers. Oh yeah, no, it's nobody. It looked like legs from back there. So cool. Look at that like little indention right there, the little I don't have my hiking shoes on. Oh wow. Huh, it sure is. Wow. Oh Bri. I think I'm gonna do a climb. Okay, yeah, climb up there. Let me see. <laughs> stick your hands up in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'd stick my hands in there or not. But I did. Yeah, I know you did. But then it's all suckers. It's sucker fish. Oh. Huh. Yuck. Walleye, smallmouth bass, northern pike, and a burbot. A burbot? Green eel like. Like an eel. Oh. Wow. It is illegal to return these fish to the river in Utah. Yeah. All size classes must be removed. They consider smallmouth bass invasive? Wow. Those are your invasive. Yeah. Because there's the rare. Those things are... Huh. Oh, that's like totally the opposite of any other yeah. things. That's so weird. I know. You You need to go get hiking shoes. Wow. Look at you doing that, babe. <laughs> Those people. Yeah. Wrong shoes. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. No Not good. Yeah, it's kind of mushy. Yeah. Wow. They must have let something loose. I love that sound. The sound of the water. Well, yeah, because it's pushed all that water. And it look how high it went up there. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, goodness. Now we're starting to get into some insurance money. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cool. That's that it makes me so it is. We're talking about that tunnel that's way up there. Oh, both yeah, of those. No, it's just like a hole. Yeah. yeah. It's actually so freaking cool. This is so pretty. And this isn't even the arches yet. <laughs> this is just like next door to the arches. Wow. And it just kind of goes on for miles and miles. Wow. 
Castillo. Castillo? Yeah. Like honestly though, pictures and video just doesn't do this justice, but this is just amazing. We made it into arches. Look at how cool. Oh, beautiful. Just a flat rock in front of us. You can get out there too, okay? I'm gonna get out. I just got a couple of cool pictures of you. That's cool. I mean, wow. Look at you up there. <sighs> He's just gonna keep climbing and then it's gonna scare me. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. <sighs> wow. Doesn't that make you dizzy looking up at that? Oh my God, it freaks me out. It's, wow. Yeah. Uh-uh. No. This one out here is called Balanced Rock. And you can see why. Because it's like balancing right there on the edge. And people are climbing up there and they're absolutely crazy for doing that. Wow. I definitely wouldn't. And there he goes again. Brian! Oh my god, he doesn't even have hiking shoes on. It's freaking me out a little bit. Oh my gosh. That's it. I'm freaking out already. Oh my god, I can't believe that he's doing that. park in like two hours it was a lot of fun when we got to, to the back part of the park where you go in you can walk back there and like go see the arches or whatever it was backed up i think we made it we waited 20 minutes and we still we couldn't find a place to park because you know people were parking people were leaving people were parking people so we never got a place to park so we just kind of like drove around and made the loop we did get to see the arches from like our car but we didn't get to like walk up to the arches and like see it all so that's unfortunate but we still got to see it so it was good we were in and out of there in two hours and they pretty much said you can get it done within two to three hours just depends on how long you stick around how long you want to get out and walk around and hike and do all the kind of things that you want to do in there but we did we got it done in like two hours we can check that off of our bucket list we completed arches national park and it was so amazing it was so much fun um, and now tomorrow 
we can just like chill for a little while until we have to go um, to our ATV. Tomorrow we're doing ATV ride through um, the park somewhere and that's gonna be a lot of fun. But right now we are, Brian's in the shower and then we are gonna go head to dinner. I think we're gonna go to Josie Wyatt's. So let's go, my eyebrows look really weird because <laughs> I'm sweating. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go have some dinner and let's uh, end the night with a, a really good steak dinner because we are hungry. Um, we walked off those tacos in no time, <laughs> but uh, it's so much fun. So I'm glad that we, like I said, I'm glad that we did it and we're here and checked it off the list and wow. All right, let's go have dinner. What uh, started to do? I know what looks good to you. The sriracha shrimp. I could do that. Okay. Yeah, I think the sriracha shrimp will be fine. And then, what did you see? Where did, where did you see the filet? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The filet would be delicious. They have salmon up there, too, though. We ordered sriracha shrimp for appetizer, and Brian said they're already good. Oh yeah, delicious. All oh, those are delicious. So this is our dinner. We both got a filet, but this is like a big chunk of garlic. Oh, maybe you do put it on your potato. I don't know, but that looks really funky though. That's interesting. The garlic is so good for you. Yeah, it is. It'll keep you, keep you away. <laughs> These are everywhere here. Those little side-by-sides, they're like everywhere. Everybody like has these. That's what we're going on tomorrow. Yeah, can't wait. Oh yeah, are they not showing up or what? <clears throat> Look at that mountain over there in the distance. So pretty, such a beautiful night.